What's up my friends, so in this video we are going to see how we can convert a string to an integer in assembly x64 bit. Alright, so let's get started. But before diving into the code, let's see a visualization of how we are going to do this. Alright, so let's move to our whiteboard which is black again. <laughs> I love this joke. Alright, so here we have our string. So this string is going to be entered by the user. So this 49, 15. Alright, I have to I have to open the ASCII. Alright, so let's, so here we have our ASCII table. Alright, so alright, so he will enter some numbers the user. So the number one, the ASCII of num of number one is forty nine, and two is fifteen, and so on. So when the user enter like one two, it's actually forty nine or fifteen or this ASCII number. Alright, let's come back. So here, as you can see, we will have this string, this uh, array, which contain the numbers. All right. So the thing is that we are going to save the result in R15. All right. All right. So the first thing we are going to do is take the number, like the real integer, from this ASCII. But how are we going to do this? Just we have to take the number, like this, 49, like this. And then we have just, what the fuck is this? Bro, come on. 49 like this and then we have just to do minus 48 so this will give us the real number from this ASCII which is 1 in this case all right so so the 49 is 1 right let's see 49 is equal to 1 all right so this number we are going to save it in a register for example we are going to save it in the L register which is a small part from the RX register all right so L will equal to what would equal to one good let's continue so l in this case is equal to one so before continue i have to explain to you something which is digits let's explain so for example we have one all right so one it's a digit two it's a digit three it's a digit so to move to the next digits we have to multiply by 10 so for example so 1 multiplied by 10 will give us 10 all right so now we can like just add the digit that you want in this in this place for example plus 2 so 10 plus 2 will give us what give us 12 this is how it work in the decimal or any other basis all right so the same thing what this we're going to do here so the r15 it's already equal for example to zero all right and then what you are going to do is first multiplying the old number or the old value in this uh, r15 by 10 all right good then we are going to add one to this result of multiplication so for example in this case let's do enter so zero multiplied by 10 equal to what equal to zero so zero plus what plus one equal to one so r15 will equal in the first loop to one so let's continue and then we will understand the logic all right so let's remove this all right all this are going to remove it all right let's continue then we're going to do the same thing 15 we're going to take like 15 like this so 15 minus 48 equal to what equal to 2 all right then we're going to save this value in the AL register then as we said to move to the next digits we have to multiply by 10 all right so 1 multiplied by 10 equal to what equal to 10 then we add the value that we get from the ASCII which is 2 so 10 plus 2 equal to what equal to 12 and then as you can see it's so simple just you have to do these steps over and over until the loop will finish all right let's, all right let's continue then we are going to remove this and we are going to take the next ascii which is in this case 51 all right so 51 minus what minus 14 equal to 3 all right so sorry so 3 the same thing 3 we are going to save it in the AL register then we are going to do the same thing to move to the next digit we have to multiply by 10 so 12 multiplied by 10 will equal 120 so 100 by 20 so 120 plus what plus the value that we get from the ASCII which is 3 so the equal will be 123 and that's it 
all right and they will ask me what is this value thing here so as we know we are going to do to use in this uh, program the read this code so we are going so we are going to ask from the user to enter something all right with the read this code and uh, reserve it in this buffer all right so uh, as we know when we enter something using like uh, the terminal for example one two three you hit enter and this enter it will be also saved in this buffer so and uh, also it will be an indication if we reach the end of this buffer or the, or not yet all right so this is the uh, this ten right uh, it's just uh, like an indicator all right so now i hope you understand the visualization of what we are going to do let's move to the coding part all right so let's remove this and open our vim all right so let's create this vim main.asm all right so the first thing that we are going to do is to reserve some bytes all right so section .bss, buffer for example reserve bytes for me for example 10 bytes i don't know all right then we're going to start section.txt like this then global start then start like this and we're going to start really all right so the first thing as we said we have to check the value or the like the number from the user so we're going to like read syscall move rx1 move rdi1 we used to this all right move rsi move rsi the address of the buffer right like this then move rdx how many bytes you want to enter for example in this case let's say 10 all right then call our syscall good uh, let's for testing printing print the number all right so let's do move rx16 no no move rx1 yeah sorry sorry here zero for the read syscall and here zero for the uh, f file descriptor input right the input file descriptor and here I have to do move rx1 for the like syscall the number of the right syscall is one and here we have to do move rti1 for the std out file descriptor all right then here move rsi the buffer which ha which will contain the numbers then move RD rdx the length of how many bytes you want to write for, so for example in this in this case let's say 10 then call our syscall and never forget to exit the program so uh, exit syscall like this so move rx16 the number of exit syscall then uh, for example let's do move rdi0 then call our syscall like this now let's save and do nazm minus lf right and link our program and then run our program like this all right here he wants from us an input so for example one two three and enter good all right let's continue so we're going to move this print all right good now we have to set our variables all right like in c or any other language all right all right so here we are going to do set our registers all right good all right so we are going to first XOR the r15 because he will like be the result variable right so we are going to store the result in this register all right then we have to take the like the buffer which is which contain the user input so we are going to do move rsi buffer then i guess move rbx 10 for the multiplication as we said and i guess that's it all right let's exhort the r8 for like uh, the loop to end the loop and let's start our loop all right so here our loop good our loop label and let's start so first as we said we have to take the value from the string let's do it move l byte from the rsi buffer plus rh so this rh it's like what it's gonna be like the i in the for loop in the other languages all right so this rh is gonna be increasing from zero so in the first loop it's gonna give it's it's gonna give us the first element 
and then the second loop the second element and so on all right so here we need to specify the size of the data that you, that we will uh, like move from this uh, from this address to this address all right then we are going to compare as we said we have we will have in the end of this uh, buffer we will have the like the new line right so we are going to compare the l is equal to 10 so the ASCII of the new line is equal to 10 so let's check for the new line all right so 10 equal to line feed which is the new line i guess or not i guess yes and uh, this is my ASCII of new line the ASCII of new line I, uh, the ASCII of new line is 10 i am right all right let's continue so as we said we are going to compare the al which is the budget we get from the buffer with 10 if equal then jump to done the done will be like just the exit is called so done like this all right then if not here the work so as we said we have to like to subtract 48 from this ascii number to get the real integer all right so we are going to do subtract l 48 so here subtract 48 from what is inside this l all right then what you have to do uh, we have to like so here let's do a comment i guess here l in the first loop for example we equal to one good then as we said we have to multiply the old value with uh, with uh, 10 in the all cases all right so the first thing we are going to do is the result variable uh, will equal the previous uh, value multiplied by 10 right so r8 uh, let's do emul like this r15 by rbx rbx equal to what equal to 10 good then as we said we can add the value that we get from the ASCII then we can do like add sorry add r15 to the rx good then we need to increase the r8 to like to move forward in the buffer then uh, jump again to the loop i feel like there is something wrong but let's compile and see our link i don't know i don't uh, let's compile and see all right so let's check for the last time in the first we declared our section.pss all right and we reserve byte 10 bytes then section out the text we here we called our read syscall right then here we exhort the r15 we move the buffer in the rsi we move 10 in the rbx we exhort the rh then we start then we started our loop so uh, in the first loop uh, we are going to take a byte from the rsi plus r plus r8 and move it in the r in the AL register then we compare the AL register with 10 to end the, like the loop here if equal to 10 jump to done else we subtract 48 from this AL register to get the integer then we, we multiply or multiplicate the R15 by RBX then we add RX which inside the RX which is for example in the first loop will equal to 1 so 1 plus 0 will equal to 1 so r15 in the first loop will equal to 1 then we increase our r8 to move forward in the buffer then we jump to the loop again all right let's compile and see all right so nothing no problems thank god and our program so one two three good here we cannot see the results so we are going to use a special tool which is the gdb or the debug the debugger all right so gdb program here layout as and to see our code then here we are going to do uh, uh, we have to do a breakpoint in the start and then run so here we have the 80 i don't know so I prefer for me the Intel instructions, alright? So we're going to do set disassembly, alright? Flavor Intel, right? Then we'll have to do run again and yes, alright? So this is good. So here we have our instructions that we uh, write, alright? 
then we're going to start with the first instruction next instruction and equal 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 so here uh, they want from us to enter the number all right so for example one two three enter so this number with the like with the new line save it in the buffer good then let's continue here we have our move uh, we moved RSI in this register then we move 10 in the ABX register and we start all right so let's continue let's continue continue all right here let's check the value of what's inside the R15 let's see so let's do info registers and R15 good so R15 equal to 1 thank god I guess it's good right let's continue next register all right so it jumped to the loop again then like we moved uh we moved a byte from the rsi plus r plus r8 to the al so, so let's see the, uh, the value of r8 so info registers r8 equal to one so it's moved to the, to the next element then let's see also like uh, registers the value of l in this case is 15 so as we said the next element all right we moved this part to l then we'll do the comparison then subtraction 48 from the l so as we said 15 minus 48 will equal to 2 so here we are going to find that l equal to 4 to 2 all right so info registers regist registers yes all right uh, the air so as we said it equals two all right then here we are going to multiply the r15 with the rbx which rbx equal to 10 so here we equal r15 to 10 all right let's see let's do next instructions and let's print or see what's inside the r15 all right i have problem registers r15 equal to 10 as we said then it will add the value in the rx register which is in this case 2 to the r15 all right let's do next instructions and info registers registers then r15 good 12 and so on i i guess you understand it all right so uh, let's see what is the value of registers of r15 is equal to our number which is 1 2 3 123 all right i hope you understand this topic and get something from this video and, and i hope you liked my explanation i am just chilling out with assembly and i love low level uh, programming and also low level cybersecurity. So I am just chain out. See you in the next video. Peace.